Well, here we are at a preemptive strike for the Dark Timber Original Grizzly. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you have heard about the company Dark Timber Knives run by Peter Kohler. I've had the pleasure to call him my friend, spend time with him out in the woods. A great just person, but also a great knife designer. And if you know anything about his company, you know, he started out doing only customs and, you know, you'd have to get on a waiting list for over a year. And, you know, uh, those are still happening from time to time but he usually works on just his own customs. But um, about a year ago, he started making production knives. He wanted to start a production side of his business. And we had the opportunity to see that in the Honey Badger as well as the 1911 Elite that we tested out earlier this year in 2017. Well, the OG Grizzly is the Grizzly that kind of got it all started for Peter. This is a production take on the original Grizzly that he sent off to Chris Tanner over at Prepared Mind 101. And Chris Tanner tested out that blade and really that video put Peter Kohler on the map for the world to see. Up until that point, he'd been uh, kind of flying under the radar, making really good customs, but really that launched him to the next level. And so I will have links in the description below, all kinds of different links for, throughout this video, but over to some of those original videos that Chris Tanner did, as well as that I did on the next Grizzly that Peter produced. This is a custom Grizzly after that original Grizzly that Chris Tanner had uh, tested out and reviewed. So this was kind of uh, some tweaking of those designs. And since then, uh, Peter has done several different renditions of the Grizzly, but the OG Grizzly is just a production take on that original design that he had made for Chris Tanner, which is super cool that uh, we now get to have that opportunity to get a production version of that really original knife that got Peter started into the world that we are now seeing him launching into and just seeing such high level and high quality blades. So again, I'll have those links below over to Chris Tanner and his videos that he showed this originally getting shown in its original uh, design. So you can kind of hear also the idea and what the performance of that original design and then just taking it in some ways to the next level with some design tweaking on this original Grizzly layout for the production side. So as I alluded to earlier, this is like a pre-strike or preemptive strike making this video because I was able to get my hands on one a few days before they go live. Now, Peter has produced 50 that will be going to Blade HQ, 50 that will be going to DLT Trading, as well as 50 that will be going to Knife Ship for free. So 150 total uh, in this original run. They'll be going for just under $400, I believe. $385 was the price that uh, Peter told me that the kind of ballpark that they're shooting for. So just under $400 to get your hands on a limited run of these production knives. Uh, he said that he doesn't know exactly what will happen after this. You know, he may do some more lines of these just totally sell out so super, super quick, which they usually do. He may do some more tweaking. Um, you know, so this may, what you see here in front of you may only occur for 150 designs exactly as you see it. So um, very cool to see that. And we will have links in the description below over to those three websites so that you guys can go hop over there. And really for what I would recommend if you are really set on buying one of these is uh, get onto not only Peter Kohler's uh, Facebook page with the Dark Timber Brotherhood, uh, check him out on Instagram as well. I will have all those links below so that you can get up to the minute, you know, posting of when they go live. I will have it on Instagram and Facebook as well. Uh, I believe it's supposed to be Tuesday. It might be Monday morning um, and the, I'm annotating the dates in below for you guys. So since I just got this knife yesterday and I want to do this preemptive strike video to get you guys the information as quickly as possible before they go up for sale. Uh, I just did a really quick basic testing in the backyard. I have some buddies coming over tonight. So I prepped some firewood because we're going to do a fire pit, did some feather stick making, chopping. So let's enjoy that footage. We'll talk about it. I'll run through some basic specs for you guys and we'll wrap up this quick video letting you know what Dark Timber has recently been producing and what's going to be coming out any day now.
So just so much fun prepping the firewood for tonight's fun around the campfire and having my son GT Jr. hanging out with me. That might be some of the noise you hear throughout this video, him banging around, but him already seeing blades getting used and getting excited about it. Can't wait until he's a little bit older and can handle uh, all the, the fun that the outdoors has to offer. So as you saw, guys, phenomenal for around the campfire campsite. Uh, I think that this is going to be an amazing, amazing blade with my initial feeling and use and having owned several of Peter's other designs. Again, wanting to show you, this is not the OG Grizzly, uh, but si but some tweaking based off of Chris Tanner's original uh, knife that Peter made for Chris Tanner. Uh, this guy is a monster and it is a, a beautiful, beautiful custom piece. And this is what Peter specializes in. Uh, but And you can just see the size perspective on the OG um, production Grizzly here. I mean, very similar, just about maybe half an inch to an inch shorter on overall blade length. And then down here, the Honey Badger, you can see really well worn. And I believe that they do have some Honey Badgers in this same release um, that they're doing with this OG Grizzly. I believe they're gonna have another batch of these. And Peter, guys, is really working hard at getting to a point where hopefully companies will have, and, and these sites will have these in stock almost continuously, you know, um, and, and really working hard with his company, the production side, to make these readily available for people. So. Uh, he's working really hard to make that possible in the coming you know years and uh, i'm looking forward to that because i think that his designs are top of the line and a lot of people are going to get a lifetime of use out of them so again much larger than the honey badger the og grizzly is so let me give you just some basic specs here for you real fast what we're looking at is 3v cpm 3v steel love that steel uh, fantastic that's what a lot of the other uh, dark timber knives are made out of um, rather rust resistant really easy to work on in the field for a super steel and it's going to hold an edge far longer than 5160 or 1095 where you're going to normally find in large survival knives now mine has this canvas micarta uh, handles and there's all kinds of different color combinations that are, i believe are going to be released then uh, this two-tone acid wash down below and satin finish up above is just gorgeous so beautiful and after the batoning and use that you've seen here i don't see any really wearing maybe a little bit on the acid wash right down there where i was chopping and hacking uh, but really just a beautiful elegant blade what we're looking at is weight wise of one pound two ounces so 18 ounces overall weight on the knife itself and you got that really nice large handle you guys can see there with that micarta wear large size gloves as most of you know Touch more on ergonomics in just a moment. But what we're looking at is a cutting edge of seven and a half inches with an overall um, blade length of eight inches is what we're looking at there. Quarter inch thick all the way through full tang construction, 90 degree spines, mild, mild swedge. You can see how thick that tip is. And when, as you saw in the action, able to stab, pry, no issues, no problems. Fantastic, massive relief edge. Love that huge belly, huge, huge belly. And this is going to have a pretty wide blade from cutting edge to uh, spine. You're looking at 1.9 inches, so almost two inches from top to bottom here. So very wide blade. Again, you can just see there compared to the honey badger. When I put up the edges and do the best I can on film here for you much wider blade overall. And so again, to the ergonomics I kind of touched on a little bit earlier, when you back up here, this is like a, a two-stage handle. You hold it back here and you are locked in. And with the swing that I did, I never once felt like it was flying out of my hand. I could easily have swung almost everything you saw there without even a lanyard on. The lanyard was just kind of more of a backup than anything else, which was really nice to see. So ergonomically, you're gonna be really held tight in your hand. We've got the whole crew over here. We got Tommy the trail dog, GT Jr. all hanging out with dad in the backyard. Um, so that's where this back feels just fantastic and gonna give you awesome power with that chopping capability. Then you can grab it right here and you can just do your you know basic hacking. If you're doing lighter, you know, maybe making spears and that type of thing, you don't want to be like wailing on it or just some you know basic cutting tasks. And then you got that kind of two-stage choil here that really locks you into place. You know, it's not a mirror image. There's kind of like this step 
So this is cut kind of high, then this is cut down a little lower, but you are so in control of this knife because of that system, fitting so well in my large size hands. I mean, you can, as you saw, make feather sticks, you can do notching, you know, triggers, traps, all of that, and have really good control on an 18 ounce knife that's eight inches overall length. I mean, it's really hard to do that, but Peter has always been a, a guy that can just in some way ma magically make a large knife feel like a much smaller knife in its capability when it comes to the finer stuff, but then do so well with the harder stuff of batoning and chopping. So this kind of system here really lends itself to be really ergonomic and give you great control over a pretty massive knife. And this particular version is coming with a leather sheath. Now I would definitely treat this like a baseball glove. I played baseball uh, for about uh, 10 years of my life. Really love it. Great sport to play. Um, I'm looking forward to having GT Jr. play when he gets a little bit older. So it's pretty tight uh, to start out with, which is a good thing because over time it's going to fit really, really well. But basically you have this belt loop right here. You have this system that I've never seen before, which is super cool. This uh, guard strap that we're going to look at in just a second to snap over that if you're just kind of using it around camp and you're not really worried about it, it can tuck behind here, still giving you space for your belt to slide through, which is really cool. Never seen that before. But yeah, um, it's really tight. You gotta really jam it in there. There we go. So I'm gonna definitely oil this thing up and you know treat it like a baseball glove. But there you go, you can snap that over and now this is going nowhere. And it is riding a little bit high, that's Peter's style, he likes that. Um, he wanted to make it kind of like a, a gun holster kind of feel. Um, and you're gonna have about four inches coming up above your belt. So it's not as high as some other knives out there, but it's not a drop leg feature like on say the Honey Badger uh, or some other designs that he's made in the past. So he wanted to kind of make this a little bit different, a little bit more you know, old school gunslinger feel when it comes to the design on the holster. Excuse me, sheath. So there you have it, folks. I can tell you from having owned several of Peter's other knives, this is a champ, totally awesome. If you are looking for that ultra premium monster blade that's very uh, controllable, very wieldable, very easy to use, but it's still gonna split and chop and hack and really that one tool option and you love Peter's designs like I do, I just totally dig what he produces, uh, then this is absolutely worth checking out and getting in line and trying to catch one of those 150 that will be at launch here in the next you know 48 hours or so so i uh, just wanted to share this with you guys show you some basic specs so you kind of get a better feel for what you can expect again all the links below over to the websites where you can purchase this peter's uh facebook and instagram and Fa all that stuff so you can check all that out and be up to date up to the minute stuff of, of the launch process as well as over to chris tanner prepare my 101 and several of his videos and his stuff because he's going to be posting as well since it was um you know his take on this knife and being willing to review this original knife that Peter had produced um, in a custom format that really uh, got this whole ball rolling those years ago. So um, enjoy, guys. Good luck. Uh, I hope that this video has helped you out, show you what Dark Timber is producing here at the very um, end of 2017, and can't wait to see what Dark Timber uh, comes up with in 2018. So please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. I'll try to do my best to answer those for you. Um, check us out on all the relevant social media. That's a great way to see what is up and coming, stuff that's coming down the line. And uh, finally, guys, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.